We usually expect words of praise about God's greatness to follow some great event or some huge healing or some amazing providence in our lives. So what blessing do you think Jeremiah had just received to lead him to sing these words out loud? Lamentations 3, 21 to 23, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Now it's true, praise should and often do follow such times of blessings. But in this verse, Jeremiah sings this praise song right in the middle of deep grief and despair. The previous three chapters, Jeremiah has been describing the reality of pain, grief, sorrow, and God's punishment for their sins. In fact, the very verse right before this praise song, he says these words, The thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet it's right after these very words that Jeremiah then lifts up this shout of praise. How can he do this? Because his heart isn't empty. It's full of hope. In the midst of such pain, he says, Therefore, I have hope. Now, true hope isn't simply based on positive thinking. True hope is anchored in the knowledge of who the Lord is and His faithfulness. Jeremiah believes that regardless of all the suffering he is experiencing, Jesus is more than enough to sustain him and see him through. As Jeremiah opens his eyes to a new day, he trusts that his salvation is only a day away. Look at verses 24 to 26. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Advent is a season that teaches and helps us to practice this hopeful waiting as children of all sizes wait for Christmas to arrive. And in that same way, we wait until Jesus will come again as our Savior. But we don't wait empty-hearted. We wait with hearts full of hope in Him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we give you great thanks again for the incredible hope that we have in you. We may look around us at times and see all kinds of things that frighten us, things that are not going away. We may be experiencing suffering and pain and hardships, and yet, You fill our hearts with hope, for we trust and we follow you. Continue to grant us faith to trust you through all things, that we might recall that our salvation has already been won, and that we get an opportunity to experience it new every single day. We look forward to the day when you will return. And until then, help us to follow you, continue to change us, and continue to move within our lives the commitment to the mission that you call us to. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.